So I got a comment here about the uh, plane surveying because the ultimate point is how is it even remotely possible to use plane surveying within a uh, 260 kilometer radius which is the official um, description of plane surveying. So one guy who sounds like he's uh, you know he's into it of course because I'm a researcher based on my research it doesn't make sense so here's what he says go take a surveying class you're misunderstanding the word plane here I can explain it if you like but you will just argue and frankly I have better things to do quickly though plane survey means surveying a small area a block a subdivision a lot the equipment you keep calling a level is actually a theodolite not a level leveling is a transfer elevations from one point to another starting from a known point with a higher degree of elevation the level shots can only be taken in up to 200 feet straight distant in order to compensate for the earth's curvature plane coordinates discount the curvature so it makes things easier to stake out points for construction using local coordinates to make this happen you first need to take your spatial coordinates and translate to those local coordinates or a flat plane you don't know what you're talking about stop passing bad information and take a trigonometry class now so I, I said back uh, okay so a series of level shots add up to a supposed curve sounds like pseudo whacked out geometry to me a better explanation is that you're measuring a level flat plane world because he says this level shots can only be taken up to 200 feet um, so what he's trying to say is well no it's a curve but uh, we take the 200 foot shot we take the uh, theodolite, we move it 200 feet, take another straight shot, <laughs> move it again 200 feet, take another straight shot. Basically what he's saying is it's a series of flat levels that we're shooting. So like I said, sounds like pseudo whacked out geometry to me. Because that's what this is. What they're saying is, well yeah, we, we experience a level, a perpetual level, but it's really a curve. The most ignorant childish statement i mean this goes back to uh i don't know how many people are familiar with the uh the phrase um parents use on small children but it's like basically what they're saying is the world is so big <laughs> the, you know, the, the ball is so big we'll never know it was a ball which is like i said that defies geometry uh we know what a plane is we know what a sphere is. A sphere is not composed of planes. The definition of a sphere actually is. It says it's a ge geometrical figure that is perfectly round, three dimensional and circular like a ball. Geometrically, a sphere is defined as the set of all points equidistant from a single point in space. So technically on a sphere, every point is different. Um, being equidistant from the center you're talking about um, a whole different composition here we're not talking about a bunch of flat surfaces that add up to a circle um, they'll try to get real deep in their own imagination and, and convince themselves that that's what's happening but uh, and even if you argue that the sphere is composed of um, you know if we really 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 zoom in <laughs> with a uh, electron microscope it's flat um, even if you argue it, at that point, it would be flat at each point, you're still not explaining the uh, perpetual level that we experience. Like uh, when you take a look at those um, time lapse shots of someone driving on a highway real fast, it's a perpetual level. So the argument loses all credibility. And the bottom line is, as uh, someone commented on, uh, on one of the videos, um, to a globe earther who was preaching his globe earth doctrine <laughs> she said so if the world were flat then what would it look like and that's just the best question I think that's the best question to ask a globe earther uh, really that's the best question if it were flat what would it look like now uh, the most zealous of them would say we would be able to see to the end of the earth, <laughs> earth. but that's stupid we, you can easily debunk that with a perspective 
and uh, you know perspective is taught in drawing class so we could debunk that and, and you know just like that so if it were flat what would it look like it would look like it is now flat level and plain peace